In this video, I'm going to guide you through a quick and easy step on how to download PayPal application on your mobile device. To download PayPal application and get started on your mobile device is quite easy. First, make sure that your device is connected to a stable internet. Once it is, open up your App Store or your Play Store. Go to the search box at the top and type in PayPal. Once you perform your search, Tap on the download button right next to the PayPal app to begin the download process. Wait until the application is downloaded and installed on a mobile device. PayPal is a widely used online payment platform which allows its users to make online transactions, transfer money and much more. After the application is downloaded and installed, tap on the open button to launch Open PayPal on your mobile device how to create a paypal account if you want to get started and create a new account for paypal then it is super easy the first thing to do is to make sure to log into your paypal account website or simply open up your paypal application on your mobile device doing this will directly take you to the login page now for new users you'll need to create a new account tap on the sign up button and then follow through the sign up process select your country from the top right hand corner and then type in a valid email address after you type in an email tap the next button on the next page enter a valid phone number after you are done typing in the phone number tap on next now confirm your phone number by entering the verification code sent to you via sms once you receive the code paste it in or type it in on the next page create a password for your paypal account while creating a password make sure to use 8 to 20 characters long password use letters numbers and symbols in a password to make it a strong one after you type in your password tap the next button on the next page, you'll need to verify that it is really you by making sure to match your official documents by entering some of your personal information. Select your nationality from the drop down at the top and type in your first name, middle name, last name and date of birth. Finally, tap on the next button at the bottom. Now, enter your address and check this little box at the bottom in order to agree to the terms and conditions of PayPal and finally click on agree and create account button at the bottom soon after you do that on the next page you'll need to link a debit or credit card this is how you'll fund your paypal transactions so simply go ahead and enter a debit card or a credit card or even a bank account number in the text box you can also skip the step by tapping on skip at the top right and do it later now enable push notifications to get accounts updates and promos or if you don't want to do that tap on not now and there you have successfully created a paypal account for yourself once you've completed all of the steps and verified your email your paypal account will be created and ready for use how to log into your paypal account using the paypal mobile application if you want to get signed in or logged into your paypal account then first launch open the paypal application from the app drawer now you'll be redirected to the login page Type in your registered email address that is associated with PayPal in the first text box. After you are done typing in your email, head over to the next field and type in your correct password. If you are having trouble remembering your password, tap the forgot password link beneath the password box and follow through the password reset process. If you remember your password, type it in and after you are done, tap on the login button and you'll be able to log into your paypal account right away how to activate your paypal mastercard open up a preferred web browser to get started and into the url box type in www.paypal-prepaid.com and press enter soon after you do that you'll end up in this official site your paypal mastercard is a prepaid debit card offered by paypal it is a popular online payment service and with the card, you can access your funds stored in your PayPal account for online and offline purchases. In order to activate your prepaid MasterCard, click on this Activate Your Card Account button and then it'll take you to the card activation page on a new tab. Here, you'll need to enter your card information. Go ahead and enter your card number, which is 16 digit long and it is available at the back of your MasterCard. Once you do that, Head over to the next field and type in your three-digit security code and click continue once the information is correct 
and the continue button pops up. Follow through the prompts till the end and provide the necessary information in order to activate your PayPal MasterCard. How to buy PayPal gift card. There are different ways you can go ahead and purchase gift cards from PayPal. But in today's video, I'm going to show it to you how you can do so by visiting the PayPal website. So launch open a web browser on your mobile device or simply launch open a web browser on your computer. Now go to the URL box and type in paypal.com slash gift. Soon after you do that, you'll end up in this site where you can easily purchase gift cards for PayPal. Search from the category and browse through the gift cards you are trying to purchase now on the next page you'll be able to see the search results based on the category that you typed in in the search box search for the gift card that you'd like to purchase and tap on it now this will open up your gift card there will be further more information about the card scroll down and once you see this interface select the amount you'd like to be included in the gift card from the options and then Select if this is a gift or is this for your personal use. If it is for yourself, select this is for me. If you want to send this as a gift, tap on this is a gift and follow through the prompts. Enter the email of the person that you are sending the gift to, your name and the personal message you are willing to send to the person and tap on add to cart. If this is for your personal use, tap on this is for me and tap on add to cart and then tap on check out. Now on the next page, review your purchase and then tap on buy now at the bottom of the screen and follow the prompts till the end in order to buy a PayPal gift card. How to block someone on PayPal. If you want to prevent specific user from interacting with you on the PayPal platform, then here is how you can do it. You can simply block the person. So simply go ahead and open up your PayPal application and also make sure that you're logged into your account. After logging into your PayPal account, go and tap on the wallet button at the bottom right hand corner. Go to the activity tab at the top and search by the name or email of a certain person. Once you find the person in the search result, tap on their name and then you'll be able to see several options in the page. Tap on the block button at the bottom of the page and tap block in the pop-up in order to block the person on PayPal. How to change phone number in PayPal. If you want to change the phone number in your PayPal account, then the process is quite easy. Open up PayPal application and make sure that you're logged in first. After you are signed into your account, tap on the profile icon at the top left-hand corner. This will open up your profile page now, select Personal Info option. It'll then show you your profile photo, email address, your address, and the phone numbers that you've registered with on PayPal. Tap on the Phone Numbers option and tap on the Primary Number. On the next page, tap the Change button. In order to change your primary phone number, you'll need to add a new one and make that your primary. So to do that, tap on Continue and add a phone number in the first text box. After you are done, tap add, confirm that this is your number and agree that PayPal may contact you as described in the user agreement and privacy statement. Tap yes to continue. And then to confirm or verify your mobile number, tap on get your code. You now need to enter the security code sent to you via SMS on the number that you just provided. Enter the code as soon as you receive it and tap on confirm mobile number. And you have successfully added a mobile number tap on done and you've now set the new mobile number as your primary as you can see it on the display you can now remove the previous number or simply leave it like that as you please how to change profile picture on paypal if you want to change the profile picture of your paypal account then first launch open paypal application on your mobile device and make sure that you're logged in from the main home page after logging in Tap on your human icon or the profile picture at the top left hand corner. You'll then be able to see your profile. Tap on the camera icon right at the top left hand corner under your profile picture and select either take a new photo or choose existing photo. To take a photo right now from your camera, tap on take a photo and take a picture of yourself from your mobile device's camera. If you want to choose an existing photo from your library, tap on choose existing photo. Now from your photo album, select the picture you'd want to change to by tapping on it and after you are done, select choose at the bottom right. 
Wait for a few minutes and you'll be able to change your profile picture on PayPal. How to change language on PayPal. In order to change your language, open up a web browser to get started and in the search box, type in paypal.com and also make sure that you're logged into your PayPal account on a web browser. Once you're logged in, tap the menu bar at the top left hand corner. In the expanded menu, tap on the gear icon at the top right and then this will open up the Accounts tab. Under Account Options, tap on the Language drop-down and select the language of your choice. After you are done with it, you can go back and you should be able to change your language on PayPal. After you tap on the drop-down, all of the list of the available language will be displayed. In my case, it is only showing me English language. That's the only option I have. But in your case, you might be able to see other languages you can choose from. Simply select the language of your preference and you should be able to change language on PayPal. How to change PayPal email address. If you want to change the primary email address on your PayPal account and you don't know how then this video is for you, simply launch open PayPal application or log into paypal.com on a web browser. Here I've already logged into my PayPal account after you are in this main homepage. Click on your profile avatar or the icon at the top left hand corner. This will then bring up your profile menu. Tap on personal info from the options and then tap on the email address. Now tap on add a new email and enter the new email address you would want to change to. After you are done entering the new email, tap add. Then you'll be able to see this pop up where you need to log in into the account so that you can assure it's you who's trying to make the change. You can also tap on the send a code instead button at the bottom and then you'll receive a one-time code on the email address you are trying to change to. Open up your email inbox and type in the verification code that you received. Now tap on the confirm button and you'll be able to add a new email address. Now, after you add in the email address on your PayPal account, you can set this new email address as primary. Simply tap on the primary email address and then tap on change. Now select the new email address and tap on done at the bottom. In the pop-up, click on confirm to set the email address as primary. And that is how you should be able to change the primary email address on your PayPal account. Tap on done and there you go. How to change your PayPal account's password. To change your PayPal account's password, you won't be able to do it with the PayPal application. So in order to do that, you'll need to log into your PayPal account with the web browser. Open up a web browser on your mobile device and then go to the search box and type in paypal.com. Doing this will take you to the official site for PayPal. Now, log into your PayPal account by tapping the login button at the top right hand corner and entering your PayPal account's credentials. After you're logged into your account, go to the top left hand corner and tap on the menu bar. Now, click on the settings or the gear button in the pop-up at the top right. From the top of the screen, tap on security and then tap the password option on the next page. Enter your current password for your PayPal account in the first text box. After you enter your current password, go to the next field and type in the new password you would want to change to. After typing in the new password, head over to the next field and confirm the new password by retyping it again. Finally, after filling in all of the text boxes, tap on change password and you'll be able to change your password for PayPal successfully. You'll be redirected to the login page. Go ahead and tap the get code button or login with a password option and then you can log in by entering your new password in the password text box. After typing in the new password, tap login. How to contact PayPal. If you are looking for a way to contact PayPal customer support, then here is how you can do it. First, launch open your PayPal application or Simply log in to your paypal.com website. After you're logged in to your main homepage, tap on your profile picture at the top left hand corner and then from your profile page, scroll down and tap on help. You'll then end up in the help center. Click on the contact PayPal support button on the next page and then you can select your issue that's going on with the service from the options displayed at the top or 
If you want to directly contact PayPal's customer support, then you can directly send an SMS by tapping on Message Us. Go ahead and type in your issue in the text box in order to get customer support from PayPal. You can also directly contact the customer support by visiting the call off button and make a phone call regarding your problem. How to decline a money request on PayPal. First, make sure that you are logged into your PayPal account, whether you are using an application or using your PayPal website. After you are logged into your account, you'll be able to see a notification that says someone requested money from you. So simply tap on the request that you received and you'll be able to see this interface. There are three options you can begin with. You can either pay the requested amount, decline the request, or simply report the person. If you want to report the person, tap on the report a request button. If you want to report the request to avoid receiving the request from this person, reporting the request will block the person and the money request as well will be declined. You can also directly decline it by tapping on the decline button right under the request and then Tap on yes in the pop-up to decline the money request on PayPal. Tap done after you are done with it. And that's how you can easily decline a money request on PayPal. How to find account number on PayPal. Those of you out there who are looking for your account number on PayPal, remember that PayPal does not provide users with a traditional account number like those associated with bank accounts. Your account is identified by the email address that you log in with. So, whenever it comes to receiving funds using your PayPal account, you can ask the sender to send the payment to the confirmed email address registered on your PayPal account. Simply launch open PayPal application and then log into your account. After you are inside the main home page, tap on your profile icon at the top left hand corner. You'll be able to see your email address right beneath your name at the top left. So that is the email address that serves as your primary identifier for receiving funds. Whenever someone sends you money, they'll need to type in your email that is provided right underneath your name and that can be used as an account number or your primary identifier for PayPal. How to fix PayPal transfer failed issue If you are trying to make a transfer on PayPal but you are not being able to do so, your payment is not being able to complete and it shows you a message like this, then here are some steps you could follow to fix the issue. There might be several reasons why a PayPal transfer may fail. It might happen due to insufficient funds in the sender's account. So make sure that your PayPal account has enough balance so that you can transfer the balance to somewhere else. Next, make sure that you are connected to a stable internet, whether it is your Wi-Fi or your cellular data. Also, if the recipient's account is not verified, then they'll need to verify it before you can send them money. You may also need to check with PayPal to see if there is any restriction on sending money to the country the recipient is residing right now. Also, if the transaction exceeds your sending limit, you'll need to increase your limit or split the transactions into smaller amounts if you are going through this issue. Also check if your PayPal application is updated to the latest version. Go and tap open your app store or your play store and search for PayPal into the search box. Once you find the application displayed in the search results, from the search results, look for the update button if available right next to your PayPal app. If there is an update button, tap the button quickly to update your application right away. Once you have the updated version for PayPal, open it up and now try to make your transaction. How to link card on PayPal. If you want to link a credit or a debit card on your PayPal account, then the process is quite easy. First, launch open your PayPal application or log into your PayPal.com website. After you're inside the main home page, tap on the wallet button at the bottom right hand corner. It'll then take you to the wallet tab. Here, right next to the cards option, tap the plus icon and then select debit and credit cards option at the bottom. Now, enter your debit or credit card number in the text box. After entering your card number available right on your card, you can tap the next button. You can also use the scan your card option and scan your card using your phone's camera. After typing in your card number, tap next. Now enter your expiration date for the card, the CSC code or the CVV code on the next field and tap on link card at the bottom. 
in order to link your credit or debit card on PayPal. Soon after you do that, once your credit card or debit card is valid, you'll be able to link it on PayPal. Once you set up a card, the card will be your default payment source from where you can make payments through PayPal. How to request money on PayPal Requesting money on PayPal is a simple process. Go ahead and open up your PayPal application or make sure to log into your paypal.com account on a web browser. Soon after you are logged in, from the main homepage, look for the button that says Request Money. Tap on Request Money from the main homepage and then on the next page, enter the email address or the username of the person you are requesting money from in the text box. You can also enter their phone number in the text box and after you are done, on the next page, enter the amount you are requesting. If applicable, choose your currency from the right hand side. Now, enter the amount and then if you want to type in a message explaining the reason for their request, go ahead and type it in in the text box. You can also add a fun emoji or note and after you are done, tap on review and click on request now. And soon after you do that, you'll be able to request money on PayPal to a certain individual. Tap on done after you are done and the recipient will receive an email or notification from PayPal informing them of your request. They can then log into their PayPal account and follow the provided instructions to complete the payment. How to verify PayPal account email Verifying your PayPal account's email is an important step to ensure that your account is secure and functional. First, launch open your PayPal application and make sure that you're logged into your PayPal account. After you're logged into your account, from the main homepage of PayPal, tap on the human icon at the top left-hand corner. If your email address is yet to be verified, you should be able to see confirm your email address option right under complete your profile. To confirm your email address, Tap the confirm button and now go ahead and check the email that is sent to you on your registered email address. Simply tap the confirm button and then follow the prompts. You'll need to log into your email account to continue the verification for PayPal. Go ahead and enter your email address in the email or phone tab and then tap on the next button. On the next page, enter your email's password and after you are logged into your email account, you'll be able to confirm your email for PayPal. Now refresh your PayPal's news feed homepage and then go back to the profile icon and the verify email option should now disappear since you've already verified your email. It is that easy to verify your email address on PayPal. How to log out of PayPal account. If you want to log yourself out from your PayPal account using your PayPal application, then this video is for you. Simply go ahead and launch open the PayPal app and make sure that you are inside this main homepage. After you are in the main homepage of PayPal, tap on the profile icon at the top left hand corner. After you open up your profile page, scroll all the way down and then click the log out button. Doing this will redirect you to the login page. That means you've successfully logged out of your PayPal account using the PayPal mobile application. How to delete your PayPal account. To delete your PayPal account is easy. Go ahead and log into your PayPal account first. Tap open your PayPal application or log into paypal.com and after you're logged in, Tap on your profile icon at the top left hand corner. From the main profile page, scroll down and tap on close your account. To continue with deletion, ensure that you would like to close your account. So in order to do that, tap on close account button on the next page and with a few simple steps, you'll be able to close off your PayPal account. Now you'll receive a confirmation from PayPal saying that you've deleted your account. After deleting your account, you won't be able to reopen it you would need to create a new PayPal account if you wish to use their service again. If you have any pending transactions, dispute or issues, it's advisable to resolve them before closing your account. So that was how you can easily delete or close your PayPal account with a few simple steps. If you found the video to be helpful, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll never miss another upcoming upload from us. I'll be back soon with another tutorial video. Goodbye till then.